Hello, it's Victoria from Coastal Themes and I am interrupting our normal scheduling to put this video live and it's something that has just happened and we're super excited about it. We're a bit confused, we're a bit intrigued to see what it's like, but Figma released Figma sites yesterday in their config and 2025 if you're watching this in the future and we wanted to do a first look so i haven't actually jumped into figma sites and i thought this would be a cool video to just go in first look i know we've done a lot of tutorials on framer on webflow we're also familiar with things like elementor squarespace all the no code builders and figma releasing this is massive so if you haven't jumped into it yourself you're just here checking out what it's about what it's best for i'm going to talk you through it and also talk through some some of the things i've read online and what other people are saying some interesting things when it comes to accessibility and the way the code is structured so if you're into that stick around and let's jump right into it so i've opened figma sites which has been rolled out as an open beta which means that you should have it on your figma it's open to everyone there may be some bugs keep that in mind there are some existing templates which you're faced with, so we could easily start building with one of their templates. I'm assuming these are all made by Figma to start with, but I can't be 100% certain. I'd imagine so if it's if it's new new. So I really do love that they've included read.cv up here because read.cv has actually closed down. I think they've stopped as of this month so <laughs> that is going to be super helpful if you build your cv on read.cv earlier but there's so many things like portfolios business sites and i'm getting the gut feeling that this is going to be really great for one pages landing pages just getting things out cool prototyping just being able to do things so much quicker from figma so i'm super excited about this but for the sake of this video i'm not going to view a template i'm going to go straight in from scratch so let's talk about the interface. So it's very different to a regular design file. So I'm actually going to open a design file here. So this is our regular design file. We've got our layers on the left hand side, assets, pages, and then the right hand side is our design settings and prototypes. So let's jump back to sites. So here we have the file. We could name it. Here's the publish button, which is interesting. I would have thought publish would sit here kind of like framer and then we've got plus so this is to add in whatever we want so they've got pre-made pages which is super cool uh navigations i wonder if when you add things oh epic so when you add things your breakpoints are already there we saw that before and it automatically makes it responsive which is awesome and if i add tablet it will automatically snap the navigation to tablet. So that's interesting. And so on Framer, we're used to the desktop is basically your default. So whatever you add on desktop, it will add across breakpoints. But if we delete, it deletes. So it's the same sort of um, programming in that way. Hero sections. Again, I'm loving that it's super responsive like this. Featured sections. That's very cool and then embed so a lot of these sections are i think from a design perspective there's more options compared to framer but in terms of framers like third party plugins and things like that uh, obviously i didn't expect that to be here yet so we've got url html embeds youtube and google maps which honestly is perfect like if you're building a portfolio or landing page that is perfect and then we have search that will be for your layers and stuff and then down here i believe this is yeah this is make which is their ai prompting tool and cms which is coming soon and then site settings this pretty much looks exactly like framer so these are your meta information site title description language google analytics i love that that's included favicon social sharing image and then custom code so pretty much everything you need and then you can go and add your meta description for each page like we used to so i'm going to drag in a default so i can just see what the design aspect is like and i obviously expect it to be 
pretty much exactly like Figma design. Um, so already here, they've also released Figma Flow. So if you're not familiar with all these launches, there are loads of articles and loads of things. Just type in Figma config 2025 releases and there's a few things. I believe Figma Buzz, Figma Sites, Figma Flow, Figma <laughs> Make, and I think I'm missing one more. Um, but yeah, those are the main ones. So Figma Flow is... They have... Actually, it's not Figma Flow. It's Figma Grid. That's it. That's what it is. Figma Grid is... So the CSS is equivalent to display grid, if you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> um, instead of just relying on nesting all your auto layouts. Um, so we're kind of getting more towards kind of absolute positioning, stacks, and then grids. So it's it's kind of like a twist on what Frame has already done. But then when we get really into the editing, like everything's the way you know it. So. I can edit all my text here, colour picking works the same, I assume libraries and variables are going to work the same, so like you don't have to wrap your head around a whole new component section, um, because you can still make components and design like you would on regular Figma. Um, images, so there's not actually that much, but there are a few additional things I'm noticing. So we have accessibility. You can add your accessibility tags. You can see here, you can make it a section, you can make it a div, whatever you need. And then alt text for images, which is epic. So I read a few things about how a lot of the defaults on sections are ready. When you are pushing it live, it's just loads of divs. It's not uh, specifically section tags and it's just not organized very well. But there was an interesting comment that this isn't made to be a perfectly built, accessible um, product when you ship it. It's really just to get things out and live. And I'd be interesting to see what you guys think in the comments. But yeah, I think in terms of design flexibility, what more could we ask for, right? So in terms of like linking things and being able to make this interactive. So at the bottom here... We can still add frames like normal. So if I add a frame here, let's drop it into this section. I will put that and we'll just fill it for now black and add a radius. Grab this text. Not the right text, but we'll go with it. <laughs> And we'll add some padding and some padding, and then we will. Ooh, there you go. Okay, right. So pretend that is a lovely button. If we want to start linking things, we've got similar to Frame it again, link at the top. So I can hit plus and then I can link it to another page. So I'm going to add another page. Right. Oh, interesting. So it's kind of like when you make sections on Figma design. It's putting the pages next to each other, which is actually quite cool to see everything together. I can foresee this if you're making a big site. I don't know who is at the moment. <laughs> if you're making a big site, it could get quite messy. Um, maybe there's a better way to organise it. But I don't think so. And then... Let me just... So I'll rename this to About... And then I will click on this button and I can link this to about. Now, if I preview, same frame of vibes, preview, click on the button, it's going to go to the about page. You can see here that that um, slug just changed. Cool. So now once we've built the site <laughs> and when we go to publish it, site title, my website and I hit publish definitely a lot slower to publish than Framer is, marginally, but it's not exactly a big site. It gives me a URL like so, and if I open it, ah, there we go. And I can see the full design. Click, that goes to my about. That's very cool. So, 
jump back here. And then we can also connect a domain. I wonder if you have to pay or if it's free. I already pay, we already pay for Figma. So I'd imagine if you're already paying, maybe it's included, but that is something to consider when you start building and wanting to connect to a custom domain. And then I do want to explore the templates and I wonder if there's any way to kind of add templates from here. I'm going to say no, um, but let's make a new site and let's see what the templates are like. So I'm super interested in the read one. So let's open it. So they give you a preview and use this template. Cool. So I'm not sure how I feel about everything being on the same page, <laughs> but all the components are here. So everything just stays together. And then this is just obviously one page, but it's as you would expect, really. You can adjust your whole site structure as normal. And then obviously all the design is just done like normal, which is epic. I wonder if we can find a multi-page site while we're looking around. Let's see. Maybe these are bigger. Might all be one page. Maybe they're all landing pages for now. No, this has three pages. So we have home, super cool design. We have home, we have about, and we have reserve. So if I preview this, really nice. I'm not sure how this is animations from what I'm seeing. I don't think there are. So I think that might be, yeah, because effects still stay like visual effects. They're not animations. So that is definitely a, you can't really compare. Um, oh, here, there are animations. Very cool. So interactions, hovers, presses, reveals. So if I do something like reveal, there you go, you could see it, it faded in. So if I change this to be a scroll transform, let's see. And let's preview that. So the same vibes. But there are like parallax and loads of things like that, which is super exciting. I love that they have this, draggable, which is kind of like when you see those cute little blocks where you can drag them around on people's websites. So there's a few fun things. Let's see, let's see what this is like. Oh, cool, so you can drag it around. It's like those little block features on some fun sites. This would have to be coded in Framer, I believe. Um, don't hold me to that. <laughs> So yeah, okay, so there are animations. I'd argue even more options than Framer. So interesting. Um, and there's also a lot of prototyping here going on. I wonder if that, when I click on this and click on interaction. Okay, so like when you connect pages, it just looks like you, when you're prototyping in the design. So very cool. Okay, there's a lot to explore here. And yeah, if you're keen for us to kind of build things out, build specific types of templates um, and kind of dive into this deeper and see what we can do compared to Framer, please let us know in the comments. This is game changing and we're super excited this is out. And until then, I will see you in the next video. Bye.